Naweza fanya mambo yote katika Kristo anitia nguvu Maana wewe ni nguvu yangu Watesi Alright, we are back and today on Gallery Watch we talk to you, we talk to a gospel artist rather, Grace Hosea, a graduate from Kenyatta University who decided to pursue her passion in music. She considers herself versatile to any genre of music. We talk to her to find out more about the journey in her singing gospel career. Karibu sana, Madam Grace. Thank you so much, Natasha. You're welcome. It's such a pleasure. I'm so excited to be here. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We were really, really glad to have you. Uh -huh. Tell us a bit about uh, Grace, who Grace Hosea is in just a nutshell. Okay. Thank you so much, Natasha. Mm. Grace Hosea is a gospel uh, minister, a mother of two, a wife to Pastor Hosea, uh, yeah, and, and by the grace of God, I'm born again. Amen. So that is me uh, in totality. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is briefly ab about me. I love the Lord. And above all, I love singing. I yeah. love singing. I love worshiping the Lord. Mm. Yes. Your voice, I can, I can hear. I can hear. <laughs> That's, that is a singing voice. I can hear you from the depth of, of your, you know, of your belly. But um, you've said that you're a mom. And this is my next question. I mean, I was just researching a little bit about you and I just saw that you have a degree in medical laboratory science. And you know, is, is, that, is that hard? And now you're doing your masters in Wales. Is that hard for you raising two boys? Um, you know, being a pastor, mommy Gio, that's what they call them. <laughs> Be, you know, and being a wife and being so many things in one. Is that hard for you? Very hard. Mm. I can't lie that it has been easy. I mean, being a mother in itself has right. quite a lot of res responsibilities. And one thing I realize, a mother doesn't even have a leave. I mean, you can't talk of leave. Whether you go home, you know, the kids are all over and I it's really tasking. And, and work and also ministry. Mm -hmm. there, there are days I, I used to feel like my head is almost, you know, popping out. But I thank God because I realize the secret in it is when you depend on God, then God helps you to balance your life. That's true. That is what has been keeping me moving because sometimes you go, crazy. you go crazy. It's just totally, you know, you feel like this is madness. But then when you learn to capitalize on the maker who made you, let him organize your life for you. Right. That is what has really helped me this far. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, you have been singing since you were a child. Yeah. Since in Sunday school, and I heard there was one point you didn't even know that this is the direction that you even wanted to to go. I mean, is gospel a calling? Uh, gospel uh, music a calling for you, or did you just did you just do it for the passion? Or t just tell us a bit about that. Thank you so much, Natasha. To me, uh, gospel music is uh, basically a calling, mm -hmm. so to say. You see, the Bible Ministry. says yes mm. in in Proverbs that the gift that God has put in you. Yes. will open doors for you. So many times you'll realize that that thing that you're passionate about, when you look de in details, it mm -hmm. is a calling in quotes that there's something special that God has put in you. Right. So you'll see like someone just loves children. There's another person, you know, they just love probably making things. You know, you can think of this child might be an engineer in future. So to me, it is a calling. Mm -hmm. It is a calling and, uh, and I love it. Yeah. With everything in me, with every bone, you know, everything cell in me loves just worshiping but now worshiping the lord All right yes and, uh, uh, just as you've talked about proverbs um there's also this verse in the bible that says if you don't worship me i will cause stones stones will worship you know and i'm just i'm just thinking um how is it how, how uh, the doors opening for you in, in the gospel ministry, tell us about that, you know, like your, your journey um, since you started and then we can go from there. My journey has been a very crazy, um, crazy walk. Right. And, and one thing that I've learned is God taking me through a level of causing me to come to a level of humility mm -hmm. and also giving me patience. Because yeah. I started singing way back immediately from campus. Then I started to, you know, now pursue, you know, do, do, uh, go and do recording, mm -hmm. you know, to record my songs. Mm -hmm. And I remember after just coming from the studio, it was hard, Mazi. I had to, mm -hmm. you know, to toil. I remember when I was going to record, mm. 
my fare was finished somewhere yeah. before I reached town. <laughs> so I had to walk all the way to the studio. I didn't even have money to buy yeah. lunch for the people who were going to give me back up that day. Yeah. It was really hard. And even uh, talking to this person, just to be patient with me, I think when I get something little, mm -hmm. you know, I will clear. So it was that hard. And then after I had come uh, from, this, from recording, mm -hmm. Thieves came and they stole everything from my house. Are you serious? Plus the master CD that I had just, you know, uh, just come from uh, recording. Yes. It was really um, discouraging yeah. and demoralizing. And you know, some, at some point I felt that like, was this really the right thing yeah. to do? Because if it is God ordained, this was supposed to happen. Yeah. And then I encouraged myself in the Lord. I went to the Lord, you know, I need strength from you because at this level, I'm not able to. I don't yeah. have a job. I'm jobless. Right. I don't even have money. Mm. Then I, I remember mm, now after I'd, uh, you know, gotten the courage, just waited in the presence of the Lord. I, I managed to get uh, some little friends also who supported me now. And now, apart from just doing uh, the recording in the studio, yeah. I decided I want to do live music because I mm. love, you know, the live music. And it was a powerful uh, time in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. But then now what happened, Natasha? Oh. What happened? <laughs> you know, <laughs> after your live event, I mean, the producer, didn't, I didn't get the product, you know. Right. Uh, and people were waiting, you know, we want to see how the live event went, you know. It was so li live. The producer of the live event. Yes, the, my producer. I don't know, he just said something happened with the computer and mm, that and thing was deleted. You know, really? everything. So that is how I lost everything. Mm. So I went back to, you know, scratch. I was going. The first time I was in the studio, I recorded this happened, you know. Now, another step of faith to do live recording. You know, friends have stood with me to mm. do this. And now the product is not there. What am I even going, going to, say? to say? It was so bad. After I finished this, Natasha, now going to the next volume, volume two. <sighs> I, I, I did uh, the audios. Now, when doing my video, you know, video shooting, you know, paid, you know, had the venues and we finished, you know, until tomorrow. Mm. I'm still waiting to receive <laughs> the, you know. <laughs> I guess that's where um, the humility comes in. When God it's is trying true. to teach you humility and he's trying mm -hmm. to teach you patience. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just a point of, you know, you know, trusting who God is, you know, because sure. at the end of the day, he's always going to come through and you never know how he's going to do it, it's but he's true. going to do it. And you can't, I can't even brag, you know, yeah. getting an opportunity that even, even when I'm, I'm here today, I mean, I can't, there's nothing for me to brag about. Right. Because God has made me know that I am nothing without him. Yeah. So every step of the way, I want just to trust God. Thank you for this opportunity. Right. Thank you for today I am able to speak. Because yeah. it's made me understand it. The hard way. Yes, it's yes. true. You'll always learn the hard way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, you were talking about recordings. And uh, um, I remember I was reading and... Um, you had your first record album, recorded album in 2009. Mm -hmm. But it came to a time where you now came and redid the songs in 2015. Why? Why did you do that? It's because um, there's a, a lot of things that you learn, uh, yeah. you learn throughout as you, you, you live your life and yeah. every day and with experience. That time, I remember I was very passionate. I'm yeah. still passionate in worship and passionate in singing. Right. But, uh, you know, there's that passion that are sometimes also you go uh, into a lot of things with, let me call it ignorance. Yeah. You know, because I can sing, let me just sing it anyhow. Li. You yeah. know, if I sing it good or bad, shauriako, you know. Yeah. But then God takes you to a level of now, as you walk more with God, God tells you, oh. I'm a God of excellence. Mm. I love good things. Yeah. So even as you come before my presence, as you come to worship me, seek my wisdom. Mm. I will direct you. I will guide you. Mm. So I learned uh, the way my, my first song was done, you know, mm. and I learned that even when you're doing music, when you're doing something from God, it has to be excellent. quality and excellent. Quality. Because praises and even worship, they started from our Lord. Yeah. So everything that we do should be done in perfection and excellence right. that comes from the Lord. Yes. So that is why I redid it. I felt it was not uh, really was, well yeah. done. Right. Yeah. Um, 2020 has seen um, a birth of three of your singles. Mm -hmm. uh, with Sifa being my best one. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that song. Tell me um, just about those three, uh, uh, no, three singles that you released in 2020. And then you can also tell us about, you know, how did COVID-19 actually affect, you know, your ministry in 2020, if at all it did. It if did. it did, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I mean, these are very powerful 
album and I thank God the way he's been working with me right. uh, throughout. My first album was Maisha Yangu, which mm. talked about God, I give you my life, take control and take over my life. Yeah. So order my steps. So yes. I thank God because that was the first revelation that God brought. Right. Now when it comes to this album, mm -hmm. which is called Nguvu Yangu, Nguvu Yangu is where I did this Mungu Wangu ni wa baraka, mm. Mungu wa baraka, mm -hmm. Mungu wa baraka. Mm -hmm. Yes, so <laughs> this really came at a tough time when, you know, God had called us into the ministry and we just not realized that the calling that of the Lord that was upon us. Right. Then we went through a difficult time. We had an hotel in town which we trusted God, if this hotel performs well, then it can support the, the ministry. ministry that the Lord has put. Because yes. ministry na kwanga ngumus has Very a dinner. Very hard. Yeah, so uh, it reached a point where this business caught fire and we were not even able to, you know, survive anymore. Yeah. So it was hard. And yeah. in, this, in this time of difficulty, God came now, yeah. you know, uh, and I remember what my husband uh, telling me one day, you are going to release a song that is going to talk about the attributes of yeah. God, the goodness of God. And I told you, it was hard, Natasha, to sing Wabaraka. Mm. Mungu wa baraka, you don't see that baraka. <laughs> Mungu wa weza, you don't see that weza. Yeah. Mm? Wa yesu, Mungu wa ushindi. But that is the time that really God was telling, praise me in your circumstance mm. and see if I will fail to deliver you. So it was just an act of obedience. And yeah. then we did this uh, wabaraka, then nguvu yangu, wewe nguvu yangu. Yeah. There's a verse that says, naweza fanya mambo yote katika kristo anitia nguvu. Mana mm. wewe ni nguvu yangu. So just relying on God. I don't have energy. I don't have money. I don't, I don't know where to go. The friends that used to know me when I had money are mm. now not there. Yeah. God, you're going to be my strength. You're going to order my steps. Yeah. And therefore, the next came Sifa. Yes. Eh? <laughs> oh, can you see? The opening of the mighty king. Mm. Yes. Sifa. I mean, Grace, what are you seeing around you? Yes. Are you seeing COVID-19 everywhere? It's no, true. my nation is not going to die because of COVID-19. Yeah. I'm seeing the power of a God yeah. who is a healer. Yeah. I'm seeing the power of a God. Even in the middle of economic crisis, he will still make a way, That's true. Uh, I mean, for us. Yeah. So that is Sifa. Yeah. Sifu mungu, Sifu mfaume, mm. Baba mungu. Hallelujah, Sifa, Sifa. Mm. I mean, praise him, praise him in your situation. Praise him when you're crying, Grace. Praise him when you're happy. And then the Lord is magnified. And the Bible says that he, the Lord, inhabits the praises, the praises of, his of his people. So when I am sick, I want to praise the yes. Lord because my healing is going to come yeah. there. You know, when I'm looking for a job, I will praise the Lord. He'll connect me to the right people for my yeah. job opportunity. So many times uh, in life, you, it's very, very hard to see the positive out of negative. In 2020, so many people were seeing COVID-19, but they were not seeing the, you know, anything that could come out of it um so many people have stopped singing gospel music because probably it's not paying their bills like you've just sh shared your story about you know the hotel and the finances is such a big big deal in 2020 the government people are complaining about the government here and there what can you tell that person who is a gospel artist and he's just on the, he's at the edge he's just about to give to give up or sometimes even to give in you know so many times we've heard of people giving in to secular music because the gospel is not paying what do you think you can tell them i want to just encourage probably someone if they're feeling low this day that every process you have to go through the preparation stages you know David did just become a king on one day. There's a mm -hmm. time he was a shepherd and he killed a lion, he killed a bear. They're not, they were not interesting. Yes. And people even threw insults at, at yes. them. What is this young boy? Small is boy. He, you know, boy. Yes. <laughs> short, and Goliath is huge, huge. and big. Right. So always in life we will have Goliaths. Yes. A Goliath can be in terms of sickness. It can, it can be you've, you've really looked for a job ever since you graduated from campus. And it, it could be also you really believe in yourself. You're a worshiper, you're a minister. There's the right time for you to come to the limelight. It is not any time you start singing and you are, you're there. It's Otherwise, natural. you'll get destroyed. If you come prematurely before your time is ready, you will get destroyed. So just be patient. The time of God is just coming and it is just about. So most times we all, always give up when we are almost, almost there. 
So just keep on holding. The mm. Lord never changes. The Bible talks of him as a faithful God. Mm. Even if circumstances and things have just been so rough and tough, the Lord will never leave you. He will never forsake you. All right, that's Grace Hosea talking to us about the goodness of God. We're about to end this interview, but before we do, I have a few more questions for you. So now this video, Sifa, doing very, very well on YouTube, 48,436. I don't know, I've not checked it today, so I don't know if it's <laughs> reason. 36 views on YouTube. What was the th thought process? Because I was watching this video and I was just like, wow, like it was in cost, it was in WAPI, it was in WAPI. The visuals are just awesome. What was the thought process behind the video, Sifa? So, uh, vid uh, 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 what I can say, the author of every sound, every perfect sound, is our God. Mm. That is the first author. So when he releases something upon us, because I, I, I thank God, I don't, I don't take all the glory, I mean, alone, that grace has done this. We are quite a team, there's that glory that the producer also really worked uh, so hard. Uh, oh, Syria, I'm very grateful. And allow me just to thank also someone who is very, mm -hmm. very special, my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, this guy has, has made me be where I am by yes. the grace of God, because he speaks big things. Yes. Even the times that I didn't even know I could sing, you know, right. I mean, come before people. I, I know, I knew I could sing, but you know, could I level as That's true. You know, but this guy bathed, you know, bathed like a husband pushing you to into yeah. limelight. So my husband is not. He doesn't sing so much, but yeah. he's very good in, in also like scripting. I mean, um, um, music. So I thank so much uh, my producer also Osiria, all the brains that came together. So that this is the way it is today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the last uh, question before we go. What's up for 2021? I'm expecting big, big things. You better do 2020, it. <laughs> 2020 was really huge. So you can't go back from that. We are expecting five more singles, <laughs> ten more singles. We're I expecting tell you. so much from good, good songs there. Yeah. And don't get tired of waiting. <laughs> God is great and yeah. he's still doing great things. Right. He's still speaking. Right. And he's a God who is very much organized and seasonal. Right. So I want to encourage you, Natasha, hey, keep waiting. We're waiting. God has really spoken. You know, I have so many songs. Mm. I, I think there are quite a number of songs. Some I've, I've not even uh, taken a step of it just to go to the studio and record because right. I'm waiting for the, the, the time of the Lord. Yes. So the Lord has really put a lot, a lot, a lot in my voice. The Lord has yeah. put a lot in my life that I'm really looking forward just for that time. And, and, and they're coming. Mm -hmm. Wait, even this year. I can't, I can't wait. We're going to listen to your song, Sifa. Maybe you can sing it for it for us a bit before we listen to the, the audio. Uh, sh sure. Yeah. I do it like, you oh my God. Like I, watch, <laughs> I, uh, you know, it's, so hard. Camera. <laughs> it's so hard to do praise while you're seated. I mean, I have to just... Uh, so, uh, this song, uh, Sifa. Oh, can you see the power of the mighty king? His grace I see, his glory in the risen sun. Sifu mungu, oh, sifu mfame, baba mungu. Hallelujah, sifa, sifa, sifa kwa yesu, sifa kwa mfame, sifa kwa mshindi. You are good, oh, you are great, you are kind, oh, oh. Sifu mungu, sifu mfaume, baba mungu. Hallelujah, sifa, sifa, sifa usichoke, sifu kwa hali.